Hello everyone, this is Chanel Washington, Profit Strategist with Radiant Living Biz. Welcome to the live stream. If you are watching in the replay, go ahead and type replay in the comments and um, I'm going to invite a few of you in. All right, every time I've been turning to my landscape mode, this thing does not want to act right, so that's okay. We'll just have to, um, all right, we're good. So the title of the live stream, the title of this live stream, why is this acting up today? All right, here we go. Is 10 reasons why I earned $101,229 independently as an entrepreneur before the end of the year. So the date that I checked those figures, it was December the 17th. So if you want to hear um, my takeaways and the wisdom that I am going to be sharing uh, from this experience in the past year for 2018, go ahead, stick around. Please make sure you share the live stream. If you're watching in the replay, go ahead and share the live stream. I'm going to be uh, getting started quickly because I got to get back to my family. It is the Christmas holiday. Had to run out and get some wrapping paper. Um, hello, Kelly. Hello, Camille, Brianna, Michael, um, Maureen. Good to see you. So I'm going ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, for those of you who are newer to me, my name is Chanel Washington, profit strategist for Nurse Bosses, and I am also a business consultant, uh, author of Clients and Cash Flow: Ten Steps to Scale Your Business to Ten to Twenty K Monthly. Pumpkin Pies Mommy and Philly Girl Living in the A. And I work with smart, successful lady bosses, helping you earn your next six to seven figures. And I do this through brilliant digital marketing strategies to help you increase your visibility, attract your dream clients, and thank you so much and earn consistent cash flow. So I'm transparent because um, I think it's important to share my journey along the way, let you know what's really happening um, as I hit certain milestones and how it's happening. So uh, that is part of how I am impacting others um, and I'm happy that you decided to join me. So. I'm going to be just um, breaking this down. Uh, thank you so much for the hearts as you're watching. Welcome, Diane. Go ahead and continue to share the hearts. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. This is going to be worth your time, um, as always, on my live streams. Um, and after this, I'm going to come back and do one more live stream because there's some very important things that I need to share with you as well. Uh, so... Number one, if you're ready, let's get started. If you're ready, go ahead and type a one in the comments. If you want to know how I hit my money goals, how I exceeded six figures before the end of the year, independently, go ahead and put a one in the comments. Um, you know, I did this recap and really reflecting on it to help you um, think about where you are, um, where you want to be, no matter what your money goal is, but just reflecting back over the year what worked what didn't work and how you showed up in your business um and what you need to do moving forward most importantly okay so if you're ready go ahead and drop a one in the comments i appreciate you for being here i appreciate all the live stream support in 2018 i'm excited for 2019 um just had a clients and cash flow strategy session uh, with one of the members of the Radiant Living Biz Success Circle. So um, I'm feeling really, really excited. It was great to learn about her business, more about her business, and all the potential um, that she has uh, right at her feet. So, um, hey, Geneva. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So number one, number one, okay, uh, for those of you who are newer, thank you, Brianna. Thank you for being my scribe. Let's keep the energy going. Go ahead and keep the hearts going. Um, and I just want to tell you guys, um, for those of you who are newer or maybe you forgot, just a year ago, I was fired from my good job. I was fired just a year ago, November of 2017, and I was starting my business solo mom um you know didn't have a whole lot of resources as it may seem right um but look at what god has allowed me to do 
in my business and my life to totally turn things around and I want you um, to really carefully listen to the things that um, I learned and what what the takeaways I did not ask for anyone's permission. Hi, Tanya. Did not ask for anyone's permission to be successful. How many of you are holding up your potential or holding up your success or holding up your next level because you're waiting for approval, whether it's consciously or subconsciously from somebody else? <laughs> Whether you're holding it, um, you're you're waiting. We're waiting for approval. You're waiting for permission. You're waiting for friends and family to like and approve what you're doing on social media. You're waiting for somebody to tell you that your business is a good idea. You're waiting for somebody to validate you. It's not necessary. The way. one hundred and one thousand two hundred twenty nine dollars by december the 17th thank you thank you so much tanya stick around stick around we listen we are celebrating this we're celebrating by helping more women um to duplicate and exceed what i've done that's how we're celebrating so uh number two the second reason is that i got clear on what i wanted and how i wanted it I got clear on how, on what I wanted and how I wanted it. It, it, it amazes me of how many women I speak to, how many entrepreneurs I speak to that you feel like you think you know what you want, but when I ask you certain questions on the phone, it becomes very clear that no, you really don't know and it's not clear enough. When your target is not crystal clear, you become scattered, you're all over the place, you're putting energy, time, money, resources in all types of places that's not really in line with what you desire. So that was the second thing. Uh, the second reason is that I held on to what it is I wanted. I was clear about it. I already gave myself permission. And um, I was crystal clear and very specific. That was number two. The third reason why I was able to earn beyond six figures before the end of the year is that, here we go, I invested in my business, training, membership, my operational expenses beyond where my current income was, I invested at the level of where I wanted to go. Now, this is, somebody need to drop a whole lot of fire emojis for this one and run and shout. I did not invest at the level of where I was, of what it looked like. I invested based on where I knew I was going. How many people can say that? How many people have allowed excuses about investing in your business to hold you up in 2018? You know you don't have the answers. You know you need the accountability. You know you don't have the right strategies. You know you're allowing time to be an excuse when other people are doing it with the same 24 hours. You know you need the help. You spend your money here, there, and everywhere, but you're not being, uh, you're not, being an entrepreneur at the level right uh that it will require you to to hit certain income goals so time out for it in 2019 for those of you who are saying chanel i've been following you i've been seeing the, the journey i've been seeing how you show up i've been seeing what your clients are, say, are saying i see how your clients are, are are killing the game like it's evident you know
a couple of years, over the past couple of years. Yeah, the internet is acting up bad, uh, but we're going to keep on going. Thank you, Deidre. Welcome, Hope. I have no regrets over any investment that I have made in my business because I make it work. I have the right mindset. I get what I need. I hold myself accountable. And even when it doesn't look right, even when it, the things don't come right away, you know, and it can seem cliche investing yourself in it, but many of you are still making excuses. Many of you um, f are still doing the one-off questions and thinking you're going to make traction. It's not going to happen for you. I'm telling you, I've seen, I, I talked to you, so I know, and I, 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 I knew, I know how many questions I had and how I had to reach out to my continue to make excuses or on why now is not the time and why the situation is this that, and the other then you're okay with the money that you're earning you're okay with your lifestyle you're okay with your level of freedom the ability to make choices the legacy you're building and all of that right because your actions will will really determine what's what you're really about so that's number three. I invested um, for where I was going, not for where I was, what for my bank account, because my bank account didn't tell me that I can invest at this level. But that investment, right, I got a return and continue to get a return on that investment. So consider that. Be honest with yourself, right? And if you know that that's me, I want you to inbox me right now. If you don't even have to continue to listen to the rest, you're at number, th number three and you know you've been guilty of that. You know you've been guilty of investing or not even investing at the level of, of where your current bank account is or where your sales are. You're waiting to miraculously you know, um, hit a certain level a month. Then you're going to invest. How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that when you don't have the information, you don't have the critique you don't have the support things happen you fall back you get inactive you're inconsistent you're not taking opportunities it's not going to happen for you i'm telling you i've walked this walk i know what i'm saying hey victoria hey richard dean welcome that's number three but you need to sit on that one number four the fourth reason go ahead and drive before in the comments the fourth reason why i was able to earn 101,229 dollars before the end of the year independently it's because I kept going when things get got hard. It did not mean when you see me showing up, when you see me being able to go to Jamaica and do, doesn't mean that life is perfect. It doesn't mean that things didn't happen wrong in my business. It didn't mean that people didn't do me shysty and dirty. It didn't mean that I didn't have tech trouble. It didn't mean that, you know, um, I didn't have learning curves with certain things. It didn't mean that every launch went right, but I kept going. I didn't make it an excuse to give myself a cop-out ticket to say I can sit on the sidelines. Can you say that? can you say that right or or is it that you know your job is the dictating force of everything that you do right um what is it going to be ladies if you want to make a total shift you know things are going you're going to have to be set apart you're going to have or you're going to fall into the lump of masses that that uh of, of the masses of what uh grant cardone calls the middle class slave if you're going to be a middle class slave don't complain about it. If you're doing the habits that middle class slaves do and you've had this awareness, you've been able to follow people like me, you've been on social media, you've heard it, you've watched it, you know within your soul that something has to change, but you continue to do average things, mediocre um, behavior, mediocre mindset, mediocre conversation, and have a ton of excuses, then that's just exactly where you deserve to be. Welcome, Tina. Um, so cannot you got to keep going you can have a okay so 48 hours you put your head down you cry you have a glass of wine you you talk it out you kick it scream and fuss but you you don't have an you don't have the permit you don't have an option to check out you don't have a uh, just to leave your business on a sideline because you wouldn't do it to your job you would dare not do it to their job to just not show up all right, things ain't going right. I'm feeling this or this happened or somebody took advantage or this happened and that didn't go. That's entrepreneurship, baby. It's called risk taking. Welcome, Monica. Good to see you, Tina. So glad to see you doing your thing. I'm so proud of you. Um, number five. 
Number five, the fifth reason, drop it in the comments. If you haven't shared this live stream, why not? Why not? Sharing the live stream is the best way to thank me. Please let some other lady bosses, some other nurse bosses, um, get these lessons, get these takeaways, right? While everybody else saying, yeah, I went and got my Christmas wrapping paper and my tape and I'm going back. But listen, I'm committed to my clients. I'm committed to my purpose. I committed to my goals. So I'm here showing up for you. So please share this with some other uh, women that need to see it. Number five, the fifth reason, drop a five in the comments, the fifth reason why I earned, um, be, exceeded six figures by before the end of the year when I was just fired uh, 12 months ago, all right? No money, right? No no credit, okay? Uh, no, um, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what, you know, support system, you know, I, listen independently you know I was able to do this by the grace of God hard work determination not giving up the things that I'm talking to you about but guess what the majority of people won't do what it takes the majority of people won't work those weekends nights early mornings won't get up say their affirmations pray connect with people build relationships serve even when they're not getting paid take care of their tribe continue to show up like you know and invest paying things even when you don't see the money coming in keep those lights on in your business pay your team sometimes maybe more than you're getting paid right then right because you need to keep your business going because you're holding on and you're believing in what's and what's possible to manifest number number five Okay, the fifth reason is that I did exceptional amounts of work. They got me noticed as an expert in my in my space. I did exceptional amounts of work. Uh, and it's not over. I'm not saying, right, I've tapped out, but but I knew that I had more potential in me. Some of you will give more work to an employer because they put a title on you, right? Um you you will you will give more work to an employer but you won't do that same work for yourself you put this little time frame of nine to five right and you forget about that evening you forget about that early morning you keep making them freaking excuses about not having time your bank account don't care about how much time you have your bank account doesn't care you know about the other responsibilities we have as women as wives as mothers you know it doesn't you can it's possible if other people are doing it you can do it too. but you have to adopt those habits you have to follow the same path you cannot do it being normal you cannot be do it you cannot accomplish this if i'm talking to somebody please give me the heart y'all on here don't just stay here and give me no energy don't have me talking to myself okay exceptional amounts of work there's so much in you right but you won't speak up you're still making excuses you're dumbing yourself down you're worrying about Who's saying what and who's going to say what, you know? Oh, am I being too salesy? Oh, am I marketing too much, right? Like, who, who, listen, you, you, nobody can do this for you, right? It's so much within you. It's so much brilliance that God has put within each and every one of us. Each and every one of us has a solution, but nobody will know it, right? If you keep your mouth shut, nobody will know it if you're sitting waiting for this perfect time or thinking that some mysterious fairy genie elf is going to come and do the work for you and build your brand for you, right? No, you are your brand. News flash, news flash you are your brand those values that you execute right it's not oh let me just pick this out of the sky and pick some colors and a logo and a name and this and that what woman are you becoming who are you because at the end of the day people are going to see that okay number six thank you tina number six go ahead ladies share the live stream if you haven't shared it this is what i need i need the hearts coming i need the energy it's better when you when you give me the energy right back so thank you for being here during your holiday season thank you for spending time with me for those of you who are newer to me my name is chanel washington profit strategist for nurse bosses registered nurse business consultant author of clients and cash flow philly girl living in the egg look i forgot pumpkin pies mommy pumpkin pies mommy and philly girl living in the a and i work with smart successful lady bosses helping you earn your next six or seven figures and i do this through brilliant digital marketing strategies and it's only going to get better in 2019 so you are so smart for being connected to me thank you so much deidre i appreciate you welcome miss donna thank you so much and i help you uh to do this through brilliant digital marketing strategies to help you 
increase your visibility, attract your dream clients, and earn consistent cash flow. You need to inbox me. My doors are going to be opening tonight for something spectacular that you need to meet you right where you are. When time is time out for excuses, you've been following me. You don't have the help. You don't have the knowledge. Your bank account is not where it needs to be. You need to inbox me and say, Chanel, I need help. I need help in 2019. I need to level up. I need the right knowledge. I need the right support. I need the right accountability. Just being connected. It's no way you can stay the same if you've been connected to me. You've been implementing like Tina Payne, like JC Marie, uh, you know, like Ashley Page Pearson. It's no way you can be the same woman 12 months later if you've connected to me. I'm, I'm, I'm bold enough to say it. I believe it. Uh, it's only because of the God in me. It's only because, right? Don't forget Pumpkin Pie, right, Tanya? <laughs> Um, it's only because I'm clear on my purpose. I'm clear on my gift and I don't, and I, and I iron sharpens iron. I won't allow you to stay the same. If you want something different, I won't allow you to, to, to stay the same, right? There's greatness within us. It's more than, than just the money, right? It's who are you? Who are you? Are you the same woman that you were 12, um, 12 months ago? Thank you so much, Deetra. I appreciate it. Are you the same woman? Have you shifted entirely? Right? If not, what you going to do about it? Or you gonna keep scrolling, looking at Facebook videos and and funny memes and bull crap? Or you gonna deal? You gonna connect yourself and align yourself with somebody that can help you shift and level up? Number seven. Number seven. Number seven is oh, excuse me. Number six. Y'all gotta help me stay on track. Number six. The sixth reason why I earn beyond six figures, one hundred and one thousand two hundred and twenty nine dollars by December the seventeenth. Okay, from my multiple income streams, uh, is that. Number six, I hired the right help. I'm on number six, excuse me. I hired the right, the right help. And I didn't get weary, honey. I hired the right help and I didn't get weary. Some of you are expecting perfection out the gate. You're fit, expecting you know, the right fit out the gate. You know, I work with my clients. I'm a master when it comes to outsourcing. <laughs> I'm a master when it comes to delegation, you know, and, 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 and outsourcing to get um, my team from across the globe. Um, shout out to the Radiant Living Biz uh, Genius Squad who holds me down, right? Uh, internationally and uh, domestically. But I hired the right help right? I cannot do everything. I need to be doing what I do best and I need to outsource the rest. Welcome, Rebecca. Many of you, again, um, you don't have the right um, information. So you think it's not time. You don't know how to do it. You think maybe it's not time yet. I, I can't afford to hire help. I don't have time to train help, but you don't know how to leverage that help. That's what I've been being able to do to help me get beyond six figures in before the end of the year. Number seven, number seven, I did things that scared me. I did things that scared. I know I look big and bad all the time on live stream, but guess what? Things scare me too, but guess what? I do it anyway. I do it anyway. And part of what helps is that I had the right coach in my corner that I knew, right? It's like, even though my coach is younger than me, chronologically, you know, her, her business wisdom, she had my back. So when I had to do things that was outside my comfort zone, I'm like, lifeline, calling my coach, like I'm scared, but I'm about to do this. Anyway, what do I need to do? She's able to quickly boom, 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 boom. She know you need this, 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 and this. Okay, let's go. You know, and I'm trusting it. I'm trusting the process and I'm able to do it. How many of you can say that? How many of you are holding back, doing things that, you know, playing small, tiptoeing around, leaving opportunities on the table, leaving money on the table that your competitors are happy to take because you're too scared? You're too scared. I didn't say I wasn't scared. I said I was scared and I did it anyway. I was scared and I did it anyway and learned some valuable lessons. Valuable lessons. If you're not growing, if you're not doing things that scare you, if you're only just staying in your cute little bubble, staying around other people that think you're so smart and so great, you're the smartest person in the room, you're the most successful person in the room, like then you're you're not growing. You're not growing. I stretch myself. I allow myself to be scared, put in uncomfortable positions, do it. And now it's like, okay, that's another notch on my belt. I got that. That's the only thing that breaks through that fear. Not just looking at it from a distance. Oh, I wonder what it would be. Many of you, and that's going to be my next live stream. I'm coming back after this. You're going to want to make sure you stick around because I'm going to talk about some, some things you need to understand as far as what level you're at, assessing yourself and getting crystal clear. Hi, Judy. Number eight, 
Number eight, the eighth thing I did, we're almost finished. The eighth thing I did that allowed me uh, to earn $129,000 um, before the end of the year, okay, is that, mm-mm, it's going to step on some I executed more than I talk. And I talk a lot. <laughs> I talk a lot in the live stream at least. But I execute more than I talk. How many of y'all are chatter, 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 talking about this and I'm going to do this and when I do this and I got an idea for this and you don't execute. You executing like a snail. You executing like a turtle. I can go to your page and see the same damn thing that was there. Nothing's new. Nothing's popping. Nothing's exciting. You're too slow. That's why you're not hitting your money goals. You're not executing properly. And a lot of that has to do with your mindset, has to do with what you know, has to do with your accountability, who you're surrounding yourself with, right? Um, you're, you're confused, you're stuck and stagnant. That's why you need to inbox me. That's why you need to inbox me and say, Chanel, I need help in 2019. I need help in 2019. I'm not going to be sitting here moving like a snail, you know, uh, <laughs> beyond your capability. Letting everything else surround you, everything else suck up your time, right? You got to work smart, ladies. It's no reason in 2019 that you shouldn't be uh, showing up 24-7, 365. I Googled nurse boss today. I was number two under Wikipedia. The second uh, search result, number two under nurse boss. Why? Because I'm executing more than I'm talking. Is everything perfect? No, it's not perfect. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Do I have room to grow? Yes, I have room to grow. If there are mistakes I make, absolutely I make mistakes. But I'm still making a footprint. I'm still showing up. I'm still having visibility. I'm making money. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, Delete. Talia, welcome. Number nine. If you're ready for number nine, um... Put a nine in the comments. The ninth reason why I earned, um, hit my money goals, exceeded six figures before the end of the year uh, independently with multiple income streams is because uh, I was not distracted by what others were doing. Hello. Let me sit on that one. Woo, boy. Recently, I've been paying attention to how much, how people use social media when they're on their phones and they just scrolling and looking. Scrolling and looking, scroll. You looking at everybody else and what they're doing, and you are distracted. You're distracted, right? Of course, we're so we, we're not living in a bubble, right? You see things. I see it, but I don't see it. I'm not worrying about what the next person is doing. I'm not worrying about what the next coach, the next strategy, because I know what I got going on. I know my purpose. I know my gift. I know my expertise. I know what I'm here to do, and I'm focused on that. Too many of you are looking at it. Look at her over there. She's boasting more than me. Look at her graphics. Look at her website. Look where she's going. Look where she's traveling. This. In the meantime, where's your work? Where, what are you doing? Stop being distracted, looking to the left, looking to the right, worrying about what everybody else is doing. Believe, invest, and do the work for your own business, handle your own business, and be the best you you can be for your brand and your business. Stop. Stop. It's room for everybody. Oh, it's so saturated, or this person is doing this, or maybe they've already doing this, or she took my idea, or blah, blah, blah. Please, if you show up and do what you're supposed where my heart's at, ladies? Where the heart, y'all? Y'all done fell off on me. You still watching? So if you still watching, it must be worth your time. Please throw some hearts up. Let me know I'm not talking to myself. Let me know I'm, I'm, I'm resonating with somebody, right? You know, distracted by what other people are doing. I decided I'm not going to do that. Right? I'm happy for this. I'm happy for her success. Because she's successful, that doesn't mean that it minimizes me. Right? And 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 that's a you know, we've been, especially women of color, like we have to break those chains of psychological slavery that are still uh, you know, holding you bound. Okay? When you can't look at the you think her success is minimizing you or dimming your light, no ma'am. No, ma'am, Judy, I want to start live video, but I'm scared. However, I tried today. It wasn't perfect. Good. Congratulations, Judy. Congratulations. Welcome. Judy, you need to inbox me. Um, I have a way to help you that I've never done before, but I'm doing it for 2019 um, because I'm, I'm determined, right? For those of you who want help, 
I'm determined to help you. For those of you who are not just talking and not just scrolling and complaining, because the complaining, I'm a, I'm a call you. You might as well unfriend. I'm telling you right now because you're not going to like hanging around my pages if you make excuses, if you don't invest in your business and you're mediocre. You make it. Somebody say that you excuse. You make excuses, okay? You don't invest in your business and you're mediocre right? You, you, you cool with being average. You're cool with, with that. You're not going to like me <laughs> in 2019. I've, I've paid too much of a price. I'm too far in for me to be average. So I can't be around average people. I'm allergic to it. So you got to go. So I'm stepping on toes and, uh, you could go elsewhere, right? I care about people too much, if, you know, to let you, be stagnant, be mediocre, be average, be broke, and think it's okay when it, it doesn't have to be the way that way. All right. Um, and some of you, you know, maybe you you de you you're de deceiving yourselves because you're getting a paycheck, or you know, um, you you have the basics, a roof over your head. Oh, I got a car. I'm going on vacation. My kids go to private school. But you're not free. You're really not free. If that paycheck stopped today or tomorrow, right? Or your business is um, uh, perhaps you, you, you're beyond that, but you, it's so much that you're leaving on the table with your business. You have not uh, put the work in to, to truly create financial freedom, to create systems where you can be working in your business uh, and, and, and have your business run without you. Then it's, it's room for you to grow, right? Okay. Yes. Excuses, no investment, mediocre. You, you're not gonna wanna. You're not gonna like it here. It's gonna get very uncomfortable. I'm not even gonna let you be here and think it's good and think it's okay because I'm making opportunities that um, I'm meeting you where you are. If you make a decision that you want to grow, you need to be in my inbox. You need to say, you know, I watched the live stream. I need help. I'm ready. No excuses, right? No excuses. You don't have to be stuck. You don't have to be confused. If I see another freaking comment with these baby i mean y'all I'm, I'm just telling you nobody may not tell you they might take your money and let you keep doing that mess but if you don't grow up quick if you don't put your big girl lingerie on quick right you're going to zap out and spend up all your money you I'm asking these little questions here, there, how do you do, and how, and what, and this week, uh, and, uh, and, 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 and no action. You ask a question, you sit, you get an answer, you think about it, you pray about it. Okay, uh, you come back, you ask the same question in another group, you sit, you think about it, you look, you compare, you look, honey, listen, listen, um, <laughs> You're gonna be lost in the sauce. You're gonna get dusted in 2019. Cause it's it's some women that's like time out for the foolishness. They know that they have something inside of them. They're ambitious. They want it. They're hungry enough. And your business is gonna just be like it's worthless. It has no value. Nobody's checking for you. You won't you won't even invest in yourself. Think about that. You won't invest in yourself. But you want to leave your job. Help me understand that. You won't invest in yourself, right? But you want to uh, be a boss, right? You won't invest in yourself, but you, uh, and you think it's smart business to add, to do question by question. Let me ask a question over here. Let me go up here and see what it. Let me watch this live stream for 45 minutes and see what kind of nuggets I can get out and apply. And let me, in the meantime, you stuck, you applied it, then you still stuck. Have nobody to ask. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it shows. And your bank account is telling on you. And your situation is telling on you. You're going to be miserable, depressed, and wishing you did things differently. And then by then it'll be too late. If nobody else is telling you, I'm telling. Because I hear I hear enough sob and sad stories, okay, of people who think they got a business, 
okay? Because they got an Instagram, they got a Facebook. Where the clients at? Where's the money at? Where the money at? You don't know how to sell. Uh, you don't know how to create content. You don't know how to mentally shift yourself from an employee mentality. You're not confident enough. You're not showing up. Whose fault is it? When are you going to own it? Take accountability for your life. I took accountability for my life. That's why it's different today. It's nobody else's fault. Nobody else's responsibility. Right? Come on now. Number 10. Are we there? Number 10. The 10th reason why. And I know, I know I'm, know, i you know, stepping on some. It's okay. Y'all need somebody to step on toes. Y'all need somebody to step on toes. Good, good um, evening, Serena. Good evening. Ten reasons why I earned $101,229 before the end of the year by December the 17th. Multiple income streams. No credit. No hookup. No sugar daddy. No, uh, yeah, no nine to five. How about that? Right? I did it from scratch, and everybody's not, uh, no, I'm not looking for people to be a carbon copy of me, right? But God can bless you, right, uh, exactly how he's made you, specifically. That's why uh, I'm a strategist. That's why I help bring my clients brilliant ideas that they would have never thought of and teach them how to monetize and teach them how to keep going, teach them how to overcome and push and be exceptional to dominate their niche, right? Right? So, welcome, Indigo. So if this sounds like something that, you know, you've been listening, you've been watching a live stream, you know your money is not where, you know your sales were not where it needs to be. You know your sales skills is not where it needs to be. You know marketing, you're still struggling with it, your brand, you don't get it. You don't have an email list. Uh, you're not marketing um, offline. You, you're missing out on opportunity. Why be in business, right? Why be, um, thank you for asking, Judy. My name is Chanel Washington. I'm a profit strategist for nurse bosses and smart, successful lady bosses. I'm a business consultant. I'm an author of a book called Clients and Cash Flow, 10 Steps to Scale Your Business to 10 to 20K Monthly. I'm Pumpkin Pie's Mommy, and I'm a Philly girl living in the A. And I work with smart, successful lady bosses helping you earn your next six and seven figures. So I solve problems. That's what my business is. I solve problems. I create solutions. I teach. I train. Uh, I lead. And I lead by example. Welcome, Lynn. Welcome, Tamika. Welcome, Sharice. Good to see you. And thank you for asking. Um, so those of you uh, who want to know number 10, where's number 10? Okay, my 10th reason. I'm talking about how I... Um, this is my second business, Radiant Living Biz is my second business. My first business is called Indigo Fair Beauty, uh, Treasures for Body, Mind, and So I started that business with a $500 startup and grew it to multiple six figures, okay? Some people might call me a hustler. I'm not, I'm not offended by any of it, right? Because I know how to get clients. I know how to get consistent cash flow. I need to know how to start uh, from scratch. I know how to pull it out of other women. And, um, but the, 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 the point is that, you know, what is your 2019 going to look like? What is your bottom line going to look like? What is your, what is your money uh, situation going to look like? And money, yeah, money is important because it determines our choices. It determines what we can do for our children, where we can go, where we can live, where we spend our time, how long we got to deal with certain things. You know what I mean? Like, that's really what it's, what it's about. And when God has given you gifts talent skills and abilities that you can exchange for money and, and in this uh day and age with online business um and digital marketing opportunities you can get get clients from all over the world why would you not many of my be all across the country some of my business across the world why would you limit yourself why are you why are you using your cell phone to scroll and watch other people make moves or other people spend time in foolishness when you can be developing yourself you can be learning right judy please inbox me i'm happy to help you she says she's a hairstylist she needs help in marketing you need help in marketing you need help in sales branding strategy mindset endurance perseverance right people think it's just one thing okay that's why i'm here to shift it in 2019 people think it's one thing yes 
you may need help in marketing, but I bet you need help in closing sales too. I bet you need help in having your clients rebook more often. I bet you need help in having your clients refer your business. I bet you need help in um, having retail sales, retail products in your business. I bet you could use another income stream uh, in being able to retail sell some hair products online, right? Like, this is why you need to be connected with me. Thank you, Sandra. The 10th reason... The final reason, and I'm holding this one, the final reason, okay, <laughs> uh, that I was able to earn $101,229 uh, um, by the end of the year, okay, is that uh, I made sales a priority. I made sales a priority. I made sales, somebody say sales a priority in 2019. If you guys are thinking... I need marketing help. I need, and I teach all these things. But m many of the times, it has not been one client that I work with. Group VIP, however, um, you know, group D VIP, my digital products, I really wouldn't know, but who understood an effective sales process, who understood how to close, who understood where, what to do with the leads. Because everybody wants leads. I want more followers. I want to show, what do you do once you get them? How do you ch change that into cash flow into your business? How do you change that into people getting to say, yes, I want to work with you. Here's my paper, you know, here's my uh, card, right? Sales, ha here it is. Sales is a priority, ladies. I made it a priority, okay? Don't care who don't like me, how many times I'm showing up, I'm asking, because I had a solution. You got to You gotta know that you have something that's worth worthwhile. You got to believe in it. Many of you don't believe, right, in the solution that you provide. Hey, cousin, how are you? You don't believe in yourself. You 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 shrinking down. Oh, I don't really want to say that. I don't really want to ask out. If they want it, they'll say. If they'll like it, they'll come. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's how I changed my life. That's how I changed my situation. And I refuse, right, to go anywhere but up. So if you have listened to these 10 reasons and you resonating on at least two to three of them, inbox me right now whenever you watch this, okay, and say, I need help, Chanel, in 2019. I need help, right? It's three different ways. I can help you on three different levels no matter where you are. I've created this um, opportunity for you. I've helped dozens of women create um, six-figure businesses consistent cash flow in their businesses right i'm going to show you their testimonial videos i'm going to show you what they have to say about me i have integrity i'm authentic i care about my clients i'm not going nowhere i stand behind my business um but i don't i don't play no games i don't play no kind of games i'm telling you right now so if you want to be accountable if you want to be around a circle of women who are um who are radiant, who are ambitious, who are spirit-led, who uh, support other women, right? Uh, who are who are not, um, who are judgment-free. Now, when I talk about the question and the baby questions, I'm not saying that in a way to um, belittle anybody or make you feel bad or stupid or anything like it's a stupid question. But the point is, when you're trying to do that for free, that's that's the dummy move that's what i'm saying you're not paying nobody and you asking questions in cyberspace for six months where they do that at like no no ma'am that's not the move i'm gonna tell you okay now once you become a client and you ask questions right that's how you do that right to somebody who gets you who knows you who knows what you need who's committed to give you the otherwise you just to reinvest it's not allowing you to improve your lifestyle it's not allowing you to grow if you just frustrated pissed off overwhelmed feeling depressed something is wrong 
something is wrong. What are you going to do about it? Or is somebody else supposed to come and rescue you, right? Come on. So I say these things to say. I don't say it again to be little, but I say it to give you a wake-up call. Because many of you guys need a wake-up. You need a wake-up. You need somebody to tell you. You need to stop looking at bright, shiny things online. Anytime I post something with the, let me tell you, I made, if I make a post about passive income and I make money in my sleep, some of the money I make is money in my sleep, passive income. That's what I teach some of my clients to do. I create, um, I create systems for clients. Uh, I do it for them, done for you services. I post some money, you all over it. But when it comes time to do the work and invest in your bit, where are you at? Where are you? That's the difference, okay? That's the difference between the exception.